Hi, I'm Georgina. I'm a second year English and French student at Queen's. Hi, I'm Serena. I'm a second year English student at Mansfield College. Hi, I'm Laura. I'm a second year English student at Lady Margaret Hall. Yep, and we're all interning with Oxplore. So Serena and I are working on developing a new question for the Oxplore website. And I'm working on a competition that will soon be open to undergraduates and postgraduates, um, encouraging you to get involved with the Oxford website. So watch out for that in Michaelmas term. <laughs> yeah, so we thought it would be fun if we discussed one of the questions that are currently on the Oxford um, website. So the question that we're going to discuss is... Uh, is falling in love bad for you? Hmm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, instantly, my literature brain kind of started thinking back to early examples and what springs to mind is things like Romeo and Juliet, so the classic sort of love tragedy yeah, yeah, yeah. where falling in love can then not only bring great joy but also then through a series of events cause corruption and, mm -hmm. and tragedy. <laughs> um, I just think of the, the quote, um, the course of true love never did run smooth. Yeah. <laughs> um, but one of my favourite novels is Jane Eyre and I'd say that it's not that falling in love specifically is bad for you, it's more the obstacles that get in the way of mm. love. Um, so with Jane Eyre, she was kind of a, a victim of circumstance, I'd say, um, as opposed to the actual act of love being mm. yeah. a I bad guess thing. opposed to like the idea of kind of doomed love, so things like Romeo and Juliet and like another Shakespeare play, Troilus and Cressida, where it is kind of made clear that kind of fate Mm. is against the couple and it's kind of the love that has doomed them mm -hmm. um, rather than the, like the consequences of that. Yeah and then you've also got the other side of it when um, so Ian McKeon's novel Enduring Love it talks about someone who has Declamerate syndrome so it's almost like a celebrity stalker sort mm -hmm. of crush so when love is not requited um, and how that can then potentially be dangerous mm -hmm. and quite mm -hmm. traumatic for both people involved yeah. as infatuation sort of builds um yeah <laughs> yeah i guess though obviously it's not all bad <laughs> um, i think it's meant to be kind of there is like psychological aspects in terms of love being good for you yeah. um in terms of like dopamine levels and things like just general like happiness yeah um, i guess being around like people you love that yeah. kind of obviously there are and things like fairy tales obviously the princess falls in love with the prince, has a happy ending. Happy ending. Mm. It's always yeah. good. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not. It's not always tragedy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so is falling in love bad? No, but sometimes the situation surrounding falling in love can make things yeah. a bit difficult. Yeah. This is that's uh, maybe uh, our opinion. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, if you <laughs> if you head onto the website, then there'll be loads of other resources for you to decide for yourself. Yeah, yeah. To decide for yourself. Have a think. Um, yeah, and look out for yeah. our new question, which will be on the Oxford website very, very soon. Yeah, and head there for lots of other questions, um, so things like, like yeah. should we eat animals, um, would you want to live forever, uh, should you believe the history books, and is a robot a person? Yeah. And many more! <laughs>